the M of the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. Are you good? Are you well? This posting is for anyone inquiring about um, locking and traction alopecia. Um, and it's been inspired by you get really and also uh, just me prior to doing this um, the natural hairstyle work observing so many people with locks and they were suffering from hair loss and I didn't understand why. Um, and so the best way for me to explain how we work um, and how we try and promote hair growth when we lock your hair is to probably tell you a bit of a story, I think. Yeah, I'll tell you a story. We have just locked two clients. Both clients have suffered traction alopecia for different reasons. It's all about the pulling. So they have all both had bad hair regimes where their hair has been pulled. One has been um, as a result of the chemicals and the blow drying and the Ghana braids and the conrows and the plaits and the over styling, over combing, and the other just weave, back to back weave, in out weave, in out, literally go in with a weave, come out with another weave, and tightly braided and various stylists actually working on that specific person and not basically stopping to think, okay, this is not the best practice for you. So this client um, with a weave, back to back weave, came for a consultation and then we realized they were suffering hair loss. They didn't even realize they were suffering hair loss. The other client knew she was suffering from hair loss and um, came to us to lock her because she can't continue combing, blow drying and doing all the things she feels she needs to do to go to work so her hair is presentable. When we lock our client's hair, we lock it. Um, this is totally a bespoke service. So we lock with the knowledge of hair loss because I lock Uget and at some point when Uget makes it onto YouTube you will look at her hair and a lot of clients look her hair straight on and they don't believe that she has suffered hair loss and it's just because of the way her hair has been locked. So clients who ha are suffering hair loss we tend to lock them um, not that close to the scalp so there's a little bit of how do I do this a little bit can you see that like a little bit of of growth will be there um, I would say maybe can you see the pen like that much that's a silly that's a silly yeah like that much growth will be left but I have to be careful because how it all works is that if there is so much growth and it um, there's growth and it begins to intertwine, this is not a good thing because then it has to be separated. So those these clients, we've decided we're going to check on their scalp um, earlier than the normally it's standard six weeks when we lock you up, you go off, six weeks you come back. But these clients, we'll see them four weeks because we want to check to see that the growth isn't intertwining. Now, I would say the message here is interlocking, if done correctly, um, with, a tr with a knowledge of traction, alopecia, and, and overpulling, is a positive thing. When you are self DIYing your hair, self twisting your hair, and you're twisting your hair, and you're over twisting, and you're twisting uh, maybe every four weeks or every two weeks, this is not a good thing. Um, somebody posted on one of my um, videos about um, their hair, um, about them allowing their hair to lock naturally. I'm African and a lot of our clients are African Caribbean and very conservative. We don't want our hair to lock in that traditional way, i.e. just leave your hair to lock. I mean, a lot of us wouldn't be in employment if we just kind of allowed our hair to just self-lock. The reason why Sister Locks is the best for us and people like my clients is because it is presentable. Can you see my hair? My hair cannot look like this if I had traditional locks that I just allowed to do its own thing. So that is not an option for me. And that is not an option for all our clients. We want to look presentable, professional at all times. And that's why sister locks is is the answer for us basically 
I've already done a, I love this style, so I've kept it up, uh, for now, I think it's like three days and I love it. Okay, so that's the message. When we're locking clients who have traction, if we think you're suffering from really bad traction and fascia, and your follicles are really bad, we won't touch your hair. But when we lock your hair, and we lock your hair with a little bit of growth underneath, and we see you a bit more regularly until your locks have locked up, and we're observing what curl pattern works on your hair, you should be able to enjoy your hair. And I wish I had taken, I'm, I'm, I'm really silly, because sh we should have taken pictures of the client who we, uh, when we locked their hair um, before. Um, we locked it in a way where when we finished, you would never know that that client was suffering from, uh, like had basically a gap in their scalp. You, you would never know. So we lock their hair with the knowledge that we want growth, we don't want to endanger their follicles, and we want them to enjoy their hair from day one. Not everyone can do this, not everyone can enjoy it from day one, but we're lucky that these clients can um, go out with their hair newly locked. Get somebody to check your hair. If you're twisting your own hair, um, let somebody just look over your head and check whether you're suffering from hair loss. Because if we check our client's hair, we realize something's going wrong, we know what to do. Either send them away to a doctor or check how we're locking their hair and change the way we work to ensure hair growth. When you listen and get touch your hair, it is to promote hair growth. It is for you to be able to go out looking superb, presentable, and for you to enjoy your hair. Please do not post another alternative being uh, leave your hair to do what it does. Because, I mean, I, know, I don't know who you are who did that, but I've just removed your comments because it just doesn't, it's just not relevant to the kind of people I work with and the person I am. So that's why I deleted it. If you want to promote yourself, go and do it on another channel, but don't use... Um, my channel to promote um, your your practices. Go do it somewhere else. Um, so if you have any questions, I'm thinking I'm going to do question and answer on sister locks, but I'm not going to do it like all in one. I'm going to do it in bits, but I've, I, I've kind of worked out how I'm going to do it, and pr I, I probably will do like um, a back-to-back -back every day, do a little question and answer, because I know, um, I, I know this posting for example is about seven minutes long and I know my retention my um, attention span is really short so I'm going to do little postings to answer questions that have been asked so that when you want an answer you just click on that and you get the answer really quickly like one minute or less or two minutes or less um, we'll see how it goes so I've got a lot of ideas and I'm going to keep sharing so subscribe share stay connected and um, stay blessed and thank you for watching this posting i totally appreciate the support i'm loving it stay connected loads 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 more of ideas to come um to help you enjoy your hair the natural way take care of you bye Lawyer and it's present, yeah, street last term. Kick, 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 kick,